happening? Wow. 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 Get hyped, kids. Get hyped. <laughs> this is this is Jeff Jeffrey. I like to do vibrato on it because I am a classically trained violinist. Ooh. And that's what I do with everything. Snazzy. Sing it, Jeffrey. the listener cry. <laughs> it's like, what a mournful tune. It is. Jeffrey, He's who hurt you? Jeffrey. What do you need? Jeffrey. <laughs> Was that Abra Maria? Yes. <laughs> I tried. It's, f- this thing's fun. Here, you wanna, ooh, you wanna, I don't know if I can. Courtney's got Courtney's got the automaton. This is the automaton. I don't know if I'm gonna be as pro at it We're as you are. Automatoners. <laughs> just, just it's uh. This is a. I think, I think uh, this is a an instrument that. Anyone can play. Yes. I think this is revolutionary. <laughs> and really, what a versatile instrument. <laughs> Truly. It's got more range than I do. Oh, me too. Oh. <laughs> I feel like you could really, you could really do something with this. Yes. Oh, I just noticed it has like little. He has little dimples on the side yes. that you're supposed to squish. Yes. If anyone is, if any of you listeners at home are curious as to the creaking noise, uh, that yeah, that that's the that is the jaw of the automaton. Yes. It's it's Jeffrey opening his mouth to say hello. Say hello to to bestow upon us his wonderful tune, his gift of music. Yes. Truly. He, he could really hold a note. He's, <laughs> his breath control is lovely, considering he has no lungs. Truly. Truly. <laughs> this is a music theme. This is a music themed podcast. So far. So yes. far, yes. I also love how his lips just go. Woo. Wow! 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 Very much so. And you can actually notice a difference in the sound depending on whether his mouth is open or closed. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it's very... Jeffrey misses his mother. <laughs> so, mwah, mwah. <laughs> Welcome to, uh, Livy plays with their new microphone. <laughs> That should just be the theme song for this. Just, <laughs> just Jeffrey, you know, doing. <laughs> yep. It's very somber sounding, but I think it works. Yeah. Put a little, put a beat to it. Just mm. <laughs> what a bop. <laughs> just shake him vigorously, and then he vibratos. <laughs> That's how it goes. Oh yes, my twisty boy. Twisty boy. Twisty boy. Twisty boy. <laughs> I didn't notice until he, he just the top just it turns. It he turns. is a twisty boy. He is a very twisty boy. Incredibly twisty boy. Yes, indeed. What a. <laughs> while while we're on a music tangent, I shall perhaps extract the uke. Ooh, you have a uke. Yes. That's super exciting. Ooh, it's a pretty uke. Thank you. It's got some nice swirling patterns. I feel on like there. I named it at one point, but I don't remember what it's called. 
That's really sad. I feel like it, you, you know, your uke is probably feeling pretty, uh, pretty sad right about now. Jeffrey has a name. Also, Jeffrey is, like, really easy to just cup in your hand. <laughs> just yeah. Jeffrey. He's shaped like a friend. He is shaped like a friend. He's oh. like a little, t- <gasps> he's like a little tadpole. Actually, you want to know a fun fact? Hmm. Otomatone is a combination of uh, tone and the Japanese word for tadpole. There you go. He's like in Skyward Sword, that one uh, with the water dragon and Pharaon Woods, you know. You, you get the little tone, the little notes for the, hear the song of the hero and their little tadpole things. It's just like Jeffrey. Except for they're multicolored. Ooh. It's a ukulele. It's beautiful. Yes. Give us a good old fashioned C chord there, Libby. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Like this this is bothering me because it's like slightly out of tune right now. Has it been a while since you, uh... Since <laughs> I <they> screamed? So the snazzy new microphone here. How long have you had it? Uh, I got it about, uh, I don't know. I, I think I got it before school ended. Oh, so recently. It yeah, it's it's been pretty recent. It's a pretty snazzy microphone. Yeah. It's like bigger than my hand. <laughs> it's thick. It's thick. She, ooh, she thick. <laughs> she thick. <laughs> It's got even, you got a mute button, and it's just all sorts of little, little dials here. We can transport the viewer into cyberspace for a second. Probably really, really peaceful for a minute there. Maybe, maybe I'll put sec. some some chill vaporwave in there. Lo-fi the hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> some lovely chill vaporwave or yes. lo-fi hip hop. Yes, would be just beautiful. Just let the kids relax. can do a little jig too. Yeah, a little mm-hmm. soft. A little soft, a little chill jig. A little soft uke. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ooh. Ooh, wait, Jeffrey can do that. Mostly. <laughs> I think you turned it did off. Did I turn him off? Oh, I did. That's really sad. to jams. Come on and jam. Come on and jam with me. Wait, that's a song though, isn't it? Shared this jam with me. Yeah, wasn't that like Adventure yeah. Time or something? It, it, it's Steven Universe. Oh yeah, that's right. Steven and Connie and sing about jam. Well, it's Cartoon Network. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> one of the drawing one of guys. One of those drawing animated ones. <laughs> 
You can make all sorts are you, of... Are you forcing my Jeffrey to participate in Vor? Oh, gosh, <laughs> no. Lord, no. Courtney has her fingers in Jeffrey's mouth. I do not. Because she's being inappropriate. I do not. <laughs> Courtney, what are you doing? Why are you putting Jeffrey in your mouth? No, no. <laughs> Jeffrey is perfectly dry. <laughs> <sighs> perfectly dry. Aw. <Aww. laughs> Hi. We're screaming. <laughs> it went foul. It went foul. Real quick. It's a spoilt milk. It is. Ooh, he's the right color. He is. He's very white. Very white. He's like that, like, dirtyish white that, like, uh, really old computers. Yes. Were. Yes. Like the cute, like the old been, computer monitors. They've been, they've had some use. Jeffrey's had some use. <laughs> yes, he has. He's been loved. Well loved. Yes. Musically. Oh, yes. <laughs> he's, he's a beautiful boy. If anybody wanted to <laughs> tune into this to this podcast for screaming, electronic screaming noises. Uh, you came to the right place. Yeah, you have come to the right place. That and just soft ukulele. Yes, that and, and just, um, I don't even know. Just, we're just chilling here. It's been 12 minutes and counting. Uh, Yay! Of just, you know. We've survived for 12 minutes. We have. I've been having a good time. I don't know if it's fun to listen to, but... Sure, I'd imagine so. If I'd I was, imagine so. If I was blind right now, I think I'd be having a decent time. Like, you know, just hanging out with a couple friends. Yes! Just, we're just sitting here on the floor having a good time. Cracking open a cold one with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> part of the part of the club. It's like that one episode of Parks and Rec. Cracking one open with the boys. Wesley's trying to be cool. Aren't we all just trying to be a little cool? Yeah, I think so. Ooh, we're getting deep now. Ooh, wait, no, deep. She says we're she... getting yeah. deep. <laughs> That's as low as I can go. Jeffrey is superior. Jeffrey is superior. I should enroll Jeffrey in jazz choir with Ooh, me. Ooh, you should. You would make really a good duet. He like, would, you should do a good duet. He would be a master improviser. With his screaming. <laughs> and then all the cool kids would be like, wow, same. Those are the screams. Uh, those are my internal screams. <laughs> Constantly. I'm in pain. All the cool edgy kids like that, you know? Yes, the edge edge lords of the world. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a fun one. Ooh. <laughs> I call this one, Jesus Doesn't Like Me. Uh, the, there we go. Jesus doesn't... Does Jesus like any of us? Maybe not. He's like, I died for these dipshits. <laughs> this is so not worth it. Also, I wasn't sure if we were keeping this podcast just, like, you know, language-free. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I, I think we're fine. Okay, I was gonna say, it's a little late for that now. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> we were supposed to keep it chill. No. <laughs> now we're really becoming edgy teens here. Yes, the edgiest.
course to golden days. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Hi, that's all I'm good for. Hey, we hit 15 minutes. We did, we did it. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> that was perfect. Um, story time. I used to, when I first got my ukulele, I would bring it everywhere. Because I loved it. And <laughs> anytime anybody would make a joke when I was out with my friends, I'd just go, <laughs> and they hated me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think if you were to do that every time I told a joke, I, I would feel very empowered. Okay, well, I'll have, I'll have my G and C. They're ready. All right. Let's T- see. Tell us a joke, Courtney. Ooh. You know, what kind of joke would you like? Uh, I don't know. What kind of jokes you got in that vault of yours? Ooh, well, you know what? We could go with Star Wars jokes first. Oh. Or we could go with, like, an offensive one, maybe. <laughs> Ooh, wait, hold on. If we're going for this offensive, I have to change it to minor. <laughs> That's the minor version of that. Ooh. It's very it's very sad sounding. In comparison to the to the major. <laughs> I've wanted a I've wanted a ukulele for a long time and I feel like once I get one I'm gonna be very empowered. Here, empower yourself. Oh no. I can't actually play it, you know. So that's just part of the issue. Play it. I knew like a C chord at one point. <laughs> Yay! I did it. <laughs> Courtney's a ukulele master. Boy, I wish. Yay. Have some fun with it. Ooh, I don't know, man. Courtney's Courtney's got the ukulele for all you people tuning in at home. Courtney has the ukulele. She's probably gonna uh, deafen everyone with her terrible playing, because I only know that. I only know a C chord. That's it. <laughs> uh, if you put a finger here, then that's A minor. Ooh. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm learning things. This Yay! has become an this educational... This is educational! This is an educational show. I wonder... I'm very curious how this sounds. Ooh. Ooh. I call that one nefarious. <laughs> Ooh. It's only got four strings, you know? Ukuleles, they got the, they got the, just four. All four. All four. And they're not even in order of high to low. No. Not like the guitar. Also. Yeah. Dissonance. <gasps> just... <laughs> Default dissonance. That'd be a good name for a band. Default. Ooh. Okay, no one steal that. <laughs> if comedy poncho doesn't work comedy out. <laughs> Hello. We at comedy poncho. Hello there. We at comedy poncho. Get flaccid. This is this is why I needed you on on the show because you're good at doing voices. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, maybe one of the few things I'm good at. <laughs> yeah, it's. I mean, not yeah, but that's the only thing you're good at. You're good at many things, but <laughs> I really love that you can do voices. <laughs> Yeah, like, it's super fun. Like, it's just like doing the best. All, it's like the best doing all these voices. Like, oh my god. I don't know. Like, it's they a transformation. Just, is it? It's. it's <laughs> I don't know. I, I did some ooh, on the bus. Ooh, ooh. I feel like, ooh. I feel like Rachel's going to watch this at some point. So if she gets this far, I'm, at some point, I'm going to hide the Barbie voice in there, Rachel, and you're going to, you're going to cringe and hate it. Ooh, the Barbie voice. It, I. <laughs> I do a decent Barbie impression, and Rachel hates it. I'm excited to hear this. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna break it out out of nowhere, and it's... <laughs> I'm excited. Because I'm an awful girlfriend. That's I'm excited. What I, do. <laughs> I honestly think that, you know, in a good relationship, you gotta have that one thing, you know? Yes. That you can just bug your significant other with. Exactly. Otherwise, it's too perfect. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, uh, the voices. The voices, you know, the ones inside my head. Ooh! Bringing out some 21 pilots. Oof. <laughs> what he said. Speaking of some headache represents. 
21 Pilots. I can't actually snap. Did, you can't? Did you know that really? about me? I can't snap. I can. You know, it's a really sad existence when you can't snap. I hope that everyone listening has the capability to snap. We made 20 minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> Every five minutes I have to do that. Yes. <laughs> it's the rules. The only thing I can do, I can't snap, but I can I can whistle with my hands. You can whistle with your hands? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hello can't... there, Mr. Pedrick. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I actually learned how to do it while he was subbing. Oh he my god. He didn't teach me. You just learned by osmosis? I guess. I don't know. It was in science class in seventh grade. And he was subbing. And I was just sitting there trying to figure out how to do it. And and then he got annoyed with me. Because I wouldn't <laughs> stop doing it once I figured it out. Which, fair. <laughs> but I'm like, no, Mr. Pedrick, you don't understand. It's a good time. Toot toot. Ooh, no. It's a it's a struggle. You have to really find the the sweet spot. That's a hold on. That's a fourth. (laughs) (laughs) You musical genius, you. You know, just do one different. Let's see, is, I guess maybe it makes up a little bit for not being able to snap, but it's still a sad existence when you can't snap, you know, and it's, no, it's, <laughs> I can't, I can't do it. It's super sad. My dad does a thing <clears throat> where he snaps twice and then, like, gets it, claps his hands. Ooh. He does it way cooler than I can. And he makes it sound like there's like five different snaps in there. I don't know how. Sounds jazzy. He is a jazzy man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mr. Christina, Dean of Students at Area High School is a jazzy man. <laughs> let it be said. <laughs> on here. Let on the this record podcast. show. Let the let, let it be let let's set the record straight here. Mr. Christina of Erie High School is a jazzy man. <laughs> a darn jazzy man. <laughs> He's a jazz man. He's a jazz man. If he's a jazzy man, then I should do something like... Ooh. That's a jazzy chord. Heck yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Courtney just made a lovely face. I, yeah. It was great. Thank you. She just threw her head to the sky and released all my inner demons. Yes. (laughs) With the help of Jeffrey. They, uh, much like the, much like the ancient Egyptians and their mummification process, uh, your demons actually are extracted through your nose. Oh. (laughs) Yeah. Or kind of like in Harry Potter, you take out the bad memories for the pensive. Hmm. Can I just put all my memories in the pensive? Because before I forget them. Be an empty shell. Give me time. Just like, oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. I w- oh, okay. Oop, take okay. It out. Theory. Theory. Future Harry Potter. It's like 2017 in the Wizarding World, and they have flash drive compatibility with the pensive. Oh my gosh, yes. Or like you can you can download you can yes! get those memories so you don't have to take that giant ass pensive everywhere. No no more draw my life videos. Instead you just get a little bit of pensive fluid mailed to you. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think I think this is Wizarding solid. Wizarding plus the internet. <laughs> what a what a concept though. Because like they're so old fashioned. In, in Hogwarts. Yeah. So, like, like they all get off of school during the summer, and then they all go on the internet, and... Uh, what is there, like, a dark web? A, a wizard Ooh. web? There it's got be. four W's, worldwide wizard web. A... www.youtube.com slash Game Grumps. Yes. And it's just... It's not... 
It's not even the same guy. It's, it's not even Dan it's, and Aaron. No, it's, it's just not. just two wizards who are also named Dan and Aaron. Yes. And they, like, maybe vaguely look like them. <laughs> they're maybe, like, maybe they're, like, Tonks where they can, they can yes! change their appearance. Yes! They just, they... <laughs> They shape shift into. Ooh, wait, the, ooh, it's almost been five we're, minutes. We're getting, we're getting on the five minute mark. All right, three seconds, two, one. one. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> this is gonna be a reoccurring thing. Yes. Yes. Wi- is- okay. Yes. But yes, wizard internet. So wizard, wizard, wizard game grumps. Yes. Do they play video games or do they play wizard games? Ooh. You know what? They're wizard chess. Wizard chess. Yeah, I think I think wizard chess. Wizard chess. Yes. Quidditch. Quidditch. Yes. And maybe there's there's probably other wizard games. Instead of the uh, like video where they're where they get they receive the giant gummy bear in the mail and they try and eat it, it's just like fifty thousand chocolate frogs. Yes, just a, or or just they could do the, the jelly beans. Literally the jelly bean video. Yes. Barry Potter. <laughs> Barry Potter. Barry Potter. <laughs> That's so perfect. Like, all of the videos on the uh, www are, mm-hmm. um, all of the, all of the videos are different from regular Game Grumps to Wizard Game Grumps, except for the one where they do the, <laughs> <laughs> the Bean Boozled. Yes, because and that's And, no, the only thing that legit. changes anytime they say Bean Boozled, they just change it to Birdie Bots. Yes, exactly. I'm, I'm changing position here. My legs are hurting. My okay. Apologies. I'm just gonna... Courtney has changed position. I, I have officially changed position. Whereas I was more curled up earlier, I am now stretched out. I'm just, like, sitting on my feet. Yeah, my foot is... My, uh, my Zelda foot has fallen asleep. <laughs> yes, Courtney has mismatched socks. <laughs> One is a Legend of Zelda sock, which I love. And the other is... Uh, has, has a picture of a match. And this is hashtag <laughs> lit on it. And I, I wear these socks ironically, but at this point, maybe not. <laughs> I just like them. They're incredible. The, the lip one. I have, my aunt got me a whole pack of uh, really cringy socks. Uh, one of them has hashtag boss on it. And it's got incredible. like, you know, a tie and a collar sort of, and a, a jacket, you know, like a boss. Yes. Uh, one of them has lol, hashtag lol. They all say uh-huh. hashtag. Wow. So, guys, if we work hard, we can get this trending on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> Cringy, cringe socks. Hashtag cringe socks. Hashtag cringe socks. And, I mean, hey, at least one of my socks matches kind of my thing going. I'm wearing a Zelda shirt. Yes. Carney um, is very Zelda today. I, I love Zelda. Zelda is my life. <laughs> I was playing Zelda before I came here, actually. Oh, nice. Which one? Breath of the Wild. Wait, what? Yeah. Y- do you have a Switch? No. No? Well, then what were you doing? How were you playing? Wii U. Oh, they have it on Wii U, too? Yes. Gotcha. Okay. I pre-ordered it. That's incredible. I've been... I love the way that that game looks. Oh, it's so good. I could go... I We could do an entire other <laughs> podcast of me just talking about Zelda the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> but... Ooh. Yeah. No, <laughs> but, um... I feel like if I was given a copy, I would, like, literally do none of the plot and just dick around all the time. That's a vast majority of the time I've spent, like, just dicking around. I want to become Alton Brown of, of, (laughs) of Zelda and just find every recipe and cook it. Yes. (laughs) Make every single food that you can. I'll be real, though. I'm always kind of scared to try and figure out a new recipe, because then I'm like, if I get a dubious food, then I'm like, well, heck, I just wasted, um, foodstuffs. Foodstuffs. Uh, ingredients. That's the word I was looking gotcha. for. Gotcha. <laughs> I mean, they still replenish hearts, but not like they could. It's a dubious food. It's a doobie. It's a doobie. It's a fat doobie. It's a fat doobie. <laughs> yes. No, I'm not, I'm not cool enough to have a Switch yet. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm too poor for that. There was, there was a point in time I was discussing with, uh, Eric what I would do if I won the lottery, and I told him that I would get, um, I was like, well, first off, I would definitely get the Switch, mm-hmm. and then he thought that I meant a sex change, and Oh! It, <laughs> he was very confused. It's like, oh, I didn't realize that that was a thing that you were gonna do. I didn't realize that was you. Oh, okay. <laughs> All I mean, right. Hey, I, I support t- you. Yeah, to but... each their own. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Also, let me just say, you have uh, 20 seconds until, oh. until we have our oh, usual damn. five minute mark. Lovely little tune there. I'm, I'm very excited. I am too. I'm incredibly It brings excited. me great joy. T minus 10 seconds. Ooh, you know what I'm going to do this time? Mm. I'm Ooh, she's switching switch it up. up. I'm switching it up. Variety of the Spice of Life. Ooh, minor. <laughs> minor. Bringing it down a little bit here. <laughs> We're already to a half hour. Olivia. That's this is incredible. Exciting. We've We've lived. We've lived. And I feel like, you know, since this is the first episode... Or, you know, whatever. Yeah. This is kind of a, a new thing. I feel like yes. we're, we're going to listen to this down the road, and we're going to be like, what were we doing? <laughs> there was no direction. But it's been a good time so far. This So far, this uh, yes. 30 minutes and 37, 8, eight 9, nine 40, 40 seconds. seconds and counting. 19 kids and counting. Oh, that's a lot of kids. It's so many kids. I've watched that show a little bit, and I just don't know how they do it. I mean, I'm, I'm at, it, it's not, the thing is, it's not only 19 kids, it's also a Brand camera kid. crew. Yeah. <laughs> how do they afford all that, all those kids? And, and that house. It's a large house, because they have a lot of children. At what point does it just become, like, how many kids is too many for it not to become a family and for it to become like a daycare right or business i wonder if any of those kids have like issues because they don't get enough attention i feel like one of them might have inappropriately touched somebody i feel like i read that at some point oh you know i mean i guess some sort of or some sort of affair happened i don't know you know it's possible or, you know, it could have been just one of those things where it's like, oh, this, this, this family, we gotta create some, some, uh, drama. Mmm. And that's how you do it. That's just... Every time you glissando, my Jeffrey. <laughs> Every time you glissando, my Jeffrey. A reality TV show gets its next plot line. Ooh. <laughs> it's a new TV show. That'd be... I think that would get a lot of good ratings. I think that would really... <laughs> I would I would watch a show that's just, like... <laughs> Mad Atomatome hat... Tomatone hacks. Honestly, though, the Atomatone is is revolutionary. I know I've already said that, but like this is exquisite. It's an exquisite piece of instrument. Technology is incredible. It is. There is no natural thing inside of that to make it go. No, it's all all plastic and plastic and metal and electronic. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just noticed Jeffrey's cheeks on the inside have like. Ooh. 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 A little oh. piece of plastic there. That makes sense. Otherwise, he'd just be a squishy little tadpole dude. And in, in, inner workings. Tadpole angel. Tadpole. A. I need a good s- reference. See, I need to stop making jokes about the power of one because I did not read it. You didn't. <laughs> I didn't finish it. Ah. I. This is. <laughs> This is a hardcore confession. Yeah, this is it's getting it's getting real here. My my extra credit saved my butt on the final test. So. Oh, did you guys have a final test on? Yes. The power of one. Yes, we did. How far did you read? I read to chapter thirteen, I think. So I did do some reading, but then I just smooped everything else. You should finish it. It's a good book. I I would. I have it, right? It's right there. It's Yeah, it's right there. It's also kind of broken because my backpack destroys everything that goes into it. See, I got pretty far. I mean, it's like halfway. Yeah, I got halfway through it. Ooh, here's some ASMR. Ooh, have you seen the one where it's like, welcome back to the Olympics? 
It's really weird. ASMR. I mean, I'm not. I'm not hating on it, and I'm not judging anyone that likes it. But it's. I'm gonna be real. It's a little. It's a little weird for me. I enjoy ASMR of like rain, rain sounds. Oh yeah. There's a website. I didn't realize that that classified as ASMR. Oh. Ooh. I have two seconds. <laughs> Yay, okay. You, you did, did it. Okay. You managed to do it in time. So that's like a... I didn't know that ASMR, like, rain sounds classified as that. I, I guess. I don't know. I, I just like the I noise. do, too. Because I do. I like the rain sounds. I have this app called My Noise. Ooh. And uh, it's just... It's just... Oh, should I delete it? I think I deleted it off my phone. I struggle with... Uh, storage on mm. my phone so I delete things that I need to delete or I'm like well okay I haven't used this in at least a week Let's <laughs> and I don't have to log into it again so I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna delete this one but it's called my noise and they have little sliders right mm -hmm. and you yes. can really customize yeah. your own your own rain sound or they have other stuff too but there's, i always listen to the rain sounds. yeah there's a there's a website i don't remember what it's called but if i find it i will link it and it's that's what i always use if yeah. i'm like working on something or like the sound of a rain on a tent yes i love that yes my noise has like me of camping. For that. right i love the sound of rain and then on tents and stuff or like on an umbrella Mm. Or something. I just it, it rain is nice. Rain on polyester. Just like yes, yes, yes. More soft ukulele. Since we're talking about rain, now. you've entered into the chill zone. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jeffrey. going for it. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna bring it down low. What I find nice about the ukulele is that like you don't even have to be playing a song or anything, you can just be stroking it. Like, I mean, you know, just doing the... <laughs> Yes, doing the, that. Yeah, yeah, playing it. That's playing the it, word. stroking it. Stroking it. This is me stroking it. Strumming, strumming. Strumming. I meant to say strumming, but, you know, you got my, you got, you caught my, you were picking up what I was putting down. Yes. Um, and it sounds nice and chill. interlude of conversation for some nice chill ukulele. See, we're chill. This is a chill zone here. It is. Hello, we are the chill zone. We are the chill zone. Also a good name for a band. Yes! And it could be like... Or like, like chill streak? Chill streak. Okay, nobody steal these. <laughs> we need to write these down or something. Courtney and I are gonna start 50 bands. Yes, and we're gonna be a part of all of them at the same time. Yes. <laughs> it's like Carmichael and his like 50,000 funk groups. Right? <laughs> Some <laughs> ukulele dubstep. <clears throat> yep. Good God. That's the highest note. It will play naturally. Mm -hmm. Interesting facts. Interesting facts with Libby. Um, I don't know. What are some interesting facts? You know, I used to I used to have some in the vault, but it's been a while. A jellyfish's mouth is also its anus. Aw, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> there you go. I think I read that somewhere. 
vanilla beans are from an orchid. Ooh! Cashews come from a fruit. Yeah, I forgot. That's cool. I think, anyway, you know what sounds right? Really Courtney, you should look up some. Let's some do it. Fun, let's just. Let's fun just. Fact. Uh huh. Also, um. <laughs> I still haven't gotten my ticket. <laughs> It's not, it's not good. I should probably try to get my, my ticket soon for uh, an SP. I spent very much money on those. And if Rachel's listening, then I spent a decent amount of money and she shan't be worried. <laughs> and she doesn't oh, have to pay me back. You... Oh, oh. <laughs> it was 14 seconds late, but it Sorry. came nonetheless. Sorry. <laughs> okay. This is what we do. Hey, we didn't say we were perfect. <laughs> no. It's like, no, Courtney, I marketed, I marketed this specifically as being perfect. You lied to <laughs> us! You lied to me! <laughs> I can't believe you! You lied to me! You lied to me! <laughs> You hear it, you heard it here first, folks. Libby is actually a liar. I'm kidding. Okay. First fun fact. Uh, vending machines kill four times as many people as sharks per year. Ooh, what a fact. What a fact. Frederick Bauer invented, invented, invented the Pringles can. When he passed away in 2008, his ashes were buried in one. Um, continue. Let's see. No, just, yeah, you just keep doing your ambient ukulele playing. It's beautiful. Psychology is the brain trying to comprehend itself. I mean, yeah. That makes sense. The average four-year-old child asks over 400 questions a day. Okay, if you say so. I mean, you know. The uh, TI-83 calculator has six times more processing power than the computer that landed Apollo 11 on the moon. It's a pretty interesting fact. We made it to the moon, guys. I can't believe we did it. I, I, I wasn't alive. I wasn't either, but it, it's fine. My dad was very young. He was born the year we got on the moon. Oh, yeah? I think. That's the year my uncle was born. Velociraptors were slightly bigger than chickens, according to this website. In a 2008 survey, 58% of British teenagers thought Sherlock Holmes was a real guy. He's not a real guy? <laughs> I can't believe this. My life has been a lie. He wasn't a real guy? No, he wasn't. Oh my god. No. I've been lied to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you feel lied to, but the truth come out. The truth come out eventually. <laughs> um, while 20% 20, 20 thought Winston Churchill was not. What? Well, he's a real guy. I know yeah, that. Yeah. It's like thinking that Samuel Adams wasn't a guy because he, there's a beer named after him. Right? Silly human. other's tails. Aww. That's adorable. The man also gives birth. Yes. Just shoots him out. Yep. That's... <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> the oldest person on earth was born closer to the signing of, of the United States Constitution than to, to today. Wow. That's interesting. Also, I don't know if any of these are actually, like, super true. I'm just getting them off a website, so if they're not, please don't yell at me. <laughs> Ooh, Libby. Look what time it is. <gasps> We've got 30 seconds. 30 seconds. <laughs> 
Can I say uh, one thing that I very much love about Splatoon? Yes. This is totally random, but my favorite thing about Splatoon is that the the gun uh, shoots to the beat of the music in 16th notes. That's awesome. It's just like... It, it makes me incredibly happy. I'm sure. I've never actually played Splatoon, but I really I haven't played it to. either, but I have it. Then why haven't you played it? Because I'm afraid I'll be a scrub. Well, you know what? We all gotta start out as scrubs. I am Come a scrub. Come at me, scrub ward. I'm ripped. Alright. So, we, we talked about telling jokes earlier, yeah? Yes. Why is it so hard to party in space? Why? Because you have to plan it. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of a joke that I know. What? I don't know why. My brain isn't coming up with anything. It's hard to think of one on the spot. Um, What do you call a psychic dinosaur? What? A pterodactyl. <laughs> do you actually get it? There was a... Yes, because it's like tarot cards. Yes, you're one of the few people that actually got that. <laughs> I've told that one to quite a few people, and they're just like, uh huh. I, <laughs> my dog is barking. Yes, he's a boofer. Boof. <laughs> boof, boof. I wonder, uh, what, I wonder at what he is boofing. I came up with a joke. Ooh. Um. A. A f- five foot, five foot two, psychic broke out of prison recently, and the headline, uh, said there was a small medium at large. (laughs) That's a good one. Yes, indeed. (laughs) 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 Okay, so this is the one I was thinking of earlier that was kind of maybe offensive. Ooh. Tell us about it. What's the most famous type of coffee in Afghanistan? What is it? Osama bin the latte. <laughs> it's not even like offensive. It's not that <laughs> offensive. It's just, just a guy. <laughs> Osama bin latte. I I, I I'm like gonna that. be thinking about that joke, and then the next time I go to Starbucks, I'll just be like, "Hi, can I have an Osama bin shit?" <laughs> Just, just, just a latte, please. Just a latte, Thanks. please. We're this is in Afghanistan. I forgot. Sorry. But g- can you give it like a a, a turban of uh, whipped cream? <laughs> give it a turban. <laughs> yep. Beautiful. Okay, here is one maybe offensive one though. What's an emo's favorite game? Oh boy, what? Duck, duck, noose. No. <laughs> um. Final Fantasy Seven. That's the correct answer there. <laughs> yeah. Final Fantasy Seven. What a nice little tune. Did you take lessons? No. Just figured it out? Yeah. YouTube videos or just uh I mostly just would google the chords to a song and then over time the the common ones start to kind of start to kind of click in my head mm-hmm. um yeah that's really cool aren't you a genius you're just you're just proficient at all the things thanks it's pretty rad though. You're just you're just going at it. It's just a nice little ditty. Also, let me point out. Ooh. We got some time still. Time for another joke. How does the man on the moon cut his hair? What? Eclipse it. Eclipse it, he does. Eclipse it, he does. God. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, of course, yes. Uh-huh. 
I love my pompous British guy accent. It's my favorite. It's beautiful. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I think I think that you could be a voice actor and, and <laughs> do it. You're sweet. <laughs> You're very sweet. Oh, thanks. Some uh, someday I want to perfect my my Tim Curry as oh. Dr. Frankenfurter in Rocky Horror Picture Show Ooh. accent. I'm not very good at it right now because it's a very particular breed of of uh, <laughs> of. <laughs> Of British, because, like, he says some things as a normal person would, but then he will say, like, come up to the lab. The lab. And see what's on the slab. <laughs> <laughs> Very, uh, emphasized, uh, A. Yeah, there's an A. <laughs> the lab. <laughs> um, this is one of my favorite jokes. How about that? <laughs> what do you call a hooker? What do you call a hooker? That you pay with spaghetti. <laughs> me. The answer is me. <laughs> Same. <laughs> First of all. Um, but the correct answer for the sake of this joke yeah. is a prostitute. A prostitute! <laughs> that, that remains... Uh, I, I found that joke a long time ago and it remains one of my favorites. Do you have... I'm sorry. Do you have a... A, a, like a list of your jokes. I, I do, just so I don't That's forget them. Incredible. Just so I don't forget them. That's fantastic. Thank you. I, yeah. I, I, I all of my jokes are stolen from Hank Green, so <laughs> it's fine. Mine are stolen from like just or like a text know, different post. places. You like know? I'll just go like Randy, your sticks. And that's a joke to me. <laughs> Randy, your sticks. I did come up with one of these in here, though. Really? Um. It wasn't the prostitute one, because... Unfortunately. That's a lovely one. I think that one is, you know, comedy gold right there. It um, is. It's comedy platinum. Oof. You've exceeded the level of gold. Oof. Gold is beneath you. You are... You flatter me. It's comedy, comedy, um, like, meteorite. Ooh. Wow. I'm very flattered right now. I gotta say, <laughs> you flatter me. This is My what goodness. I do. Um, <clears throat> being a vegetarian is a missed steak. <laughs> I like it. Thank it's you. cute. Yeah. I I miss steak. <laughs> I miss barbecue. I miss ribs. That's what I miss. Yeah. Wait, do you? I haven't. I am a. I'm a pescatarian. <clears throat> Me too. No way. No. Uh -huh. Sweet. We just did a sick fist bump. It was. It was very sick. It was so sick that you probably couldn't hear it. Yeah, because it wasn't like it wasn't like your usual fist bump. It's like, woo, yeah, bro. But um, <laughs> <laughs> that's painful. And yeah, we were just we did a gentle da dainty little, lady hands. We did a gentle little fist bump there. Gentle little bro fist. <laughs> Oh, wait, that's PewDiePie. Throwback to sixth grade. Yeah, that's oh. right. You used to have, like, shirt and, and yes, everything. Yes, I did. I had a Tobuscus shirt. Oh, man, Tobuscus. Uh, you don't hear about him much anymore. This episode on YouTubers who aren't famous anymore. Is PewDiePie not famous anymore? Oh, uh, no, he is. But I just stopped caring. Yeah. <laughs> I never really did watch him much, but... I was like, oh, okay. I, I mean, I can, I can, I can dig it. I guess. Yeah. I, uh... So my excuse is still posting. Because I, every once in a while, like, he posted a parody of, uh, Stressed Out from the point of view of his dog. <laughs> and it was actually incredibly well made. And then I felt kind of bad for enjoying it. <laughs> it's like, oh, Toby. Oh, Toby. Toby, no. I like, I like YouTube people who have real jobs outside of YouTube. <laughs> And don't rely purely on their YouTube for sustenance. But you like Game Grumps. I do. I mean, yeah, I do love Game Grumps. But, like, Game Grumps are different about it, though. Yeah. They're more genuine about it, it seems like. Yeah. It's like, it, I mean, like, and Danny's got his band. Yeah, yeah. They've and Brian was a physicist or something. Yep. I don't know. I mean, like, yeah, Game Grumps. I freaking love them. I, I was just watching them Grumps. earlier. Me too. I love Game Grumps a lot. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean... Do you have a favorite um, episode, do you think? Ooh, you know, it's hard. 
It's really hard. Let me, let me let me look at my favorites in YouTube, and I can get back with you on that one. Cause I couldn't tell you what name it is, but I have one in mind. Ooh. Oh, I'm getting close. <laughs> it's getting there. It's really getting there. Let me. Well, heck. <laughs> there it is. By golly. By golly. I think I've, I've probably seen the Cooking Mama episode like 20,000 times. Oh, yeah, the Cooking Mama one is good. I love that one. I actually have that game. Oh, really? I do. It's it's just as bad as it seems. It, the, the controls are garbage. Yeah. All right, so I really like some of the Mario Maker episodes. Those were hilarious. Because um, I have a few of their episodes. Their their episodes uh, favorited, meaning I really, really liked those ones. I don't do them much, you know, so, whew, you know I love them. Uh, I like the, the third episode of Kid Icarus, I put in my favorites. Interesting. Uh, the 14th episode of Punch-Out, uh, the 15th episode of Mario Maker, the 22nd episode of Mario Maker, 40th episode of Mario Maker, I really liked the Mario Maker series. It's a good series. Uh, the 17th episode of Mario Maker. Uh, the 63rd, 64th, and 78th episode of Mario Maker. Uh, 18th of Super Mario 64. And let's see, what else did I favorite? 48th episode of Super Mario 64. And... I guess for the 23rd episode of Katamari Forever. Yep, those are some of my faves. Also, can I just say, uh, some of the, this one Game Grumps animated, I watch periodically. Uh, it's the one where Up Dog. Uh, I love it so much. The, uh, basically, every single um, Tithinian animation is my favorite. Yeah. There's some really great, like the. <laughs> the, the daring game for girls. It's just. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> You can too if you believe in your girl. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know the fake laugh one? Yes. That one is so hilarious it's... to me. <sighs> Super good. And the um <laughs> the appropriate story where Dan talks about um the time that he was invited to an orgy. Yeah. <laughs> by by a couple of lesbians. Which is Yes. Premium story. Oh jeez, a plus. And then Joke Yoda. Joke Yoda's boy. You my love things. Joke Yoda. I have noticed. I love Joke Yoda. Like <laughs> I used to have a recording of it on my old phone, and I every time I played a joke, I would play the Joke Yoda thing. <laughs> I can't do that voice, and it disappoints. I can't me. either. It's really sad, and every They're... time I try, I just feel really disappointed. And I can't do the the Palpatine voice either. The like the deep. I can't. It's I'm not gravelly enough. Like the like um, the... <laughs> Palpatine. I broke my pencil. Glue it like that. Glue it. I can't do I that. Can't. I you know what? Of course I can do that. Oh. I can do the Pee Wee Dee voice. Oh, do it, please. <laughs> I mean, I d okay. Watch. I'm gonna say that I can, and then I won't be able to. Yeah, because we're under we're under pressure now. Yeah, we're being recorded. It's just like uh. <laughs> Hey there, my name is Pee Wee Diddy. <laughs> yes, I love it. <laughs> it's so good. Pee Wee Diddy. <laughs> it's similar to the and the, the he did a voice in like the he's doing a voice in the Paper Mario series. I don't know who does it, but Grover. everybody hates it. And yeah, yeah it's Aaron very does similar it. to that. Aaron, yeah, he's doing for Grubba. I want a PS3, but I can't afford it. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> I kind of want a PS3 damn. I'm not even going to attempt it while I'm being recorded, but I might get back with I you on that I want a PS3. I'm a sick of Nintendo dad. I need a PS3. I don't know why everyone hates it. I love it. <laughs> I love that voice so much. It brings me great joy. It's okay. So great. Uh, <laughs> I can't do it, but that was a different voice. It was that was fun. Well, thank you. Hey, welcome. Oh, oh, wow, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, oh shit, dude. Oh shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> but 
but you know, my my best voice remains uh, the Janet voice. Um, I love it. <laughs> and I people know about that one at this point because I I have people people want me to do it so often that <laughs> that it's it's more well known. Um oh wait. <laughs> Mixing it up. It's an hour. Yay! Woo! We did an hour so far. Yeah, that's, that's pretty exciting. rad. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that we take it to hour fifteen and then we ad- address our viewers goodbye. Probably. Is it still viewers if it's a podcast? Is it listeners? listeners? I've heard them referred to as listeners. Our Patreon supporters. <laughs> It's interesting, though, you know, you listen to pod- I've listened to, like, three or four hour podcasts, and I'm just like, wow, this is so long, but then, you know, actually making it, this has not felt like an hour. No, it's felt like, like, 20 minutes. Mm Mm-hmm, it really did. You know, we started off with Jeffrey. (laughs) And, and then we just moved on from there, you know, once you get some good, jolly good conversation going. And we got into some voices. Oh, yes. <laughs> For example, Hi, I'm Barbie. Hi, I'm Barbie. Welcome to the Dream House. I love it. Rachel hates that voice. That I was for it. you. I love you. <laughs> I love it. My uncle hates the Janet voice. It annoys him so much. I don't know. He just does not like it. And I'm just like, so every, I don't... You know, I, I, I have mercy on him. You know, whenever I see him, I, I don't say the Janet voice until I'm saying goodbye. I'm like, goodbye, Shuggy. <laughs> goodbye, honey. Drive carefully, you know. It, that So that way, you know, it's just as as he's leaving, he gets annoyed. Um, something to remember me by. <laughs> it's, I love <laughs> when the he Janet voice. Thank, thank you, honey. I can't do it very well anymore uh, recently because I just did it so much for a while there. Um, so it's not as good i don't think but i don't know people have said that they don't hear a difference so that's good it's um it reminds me of this jimmy wetzel bit um that he he did when they were playing pepsi man um Uh. but he because he's he's from new york and he was talking about like his accent and he, he did this thing where it was like, open the pool, he's pizza and coffee, we sell pizza, we sell coffee, we fucking gay, you got a problem with that? <laughs> That's beautiful. Slady Diane, she comes into our shop. <laughs> it's just something, and then they talk about putting jizz in the pizza. It's Ooh, great. That sounds beautiful. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey just fell over a little bit. It's a plane. <laughs> it's a bird. It's a. I had like a moment the other yesterday. I think it was. Um, or maybe it wasn't. No, it was Wednesday. What day is it today? It is Friday. Okay, so it was the day before yesterday. Okay. And uh, I was outside. I don't remember why I was outside. It might have not even been the day before yesterday. You know, I don't know. But anyway, the other day. Um, I, I was outside and there was this big plane above me and I was with a friend and I'm trying to reference Superman, you know, but I had like this mini stroke or something where I'm like, it's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's, it's, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's a bird plane. It, no, it's Superman. It was like genuinely terrifying for a second. I could not get out that sentence properly it's a bird it's a plane it's, it's superman a, it's a bird plane it's, it's a, a super plane it's a bird, bird super man plane, it's a super bird bird super bird plane it's the, super the really plane. it's the big it's the really big bird from bioshock yeah or or yeah yeah that it's, one. it's um or from wind Waker. there's a lot ooh, of big birds there are a lot of big birds i love birds i do too birds are great or you know a really big bird from breath of the wild or just Big Bird. Big Bird. From Sesame Street. Uh, what a jolly good time. What a what a guy. What a guy. All big and tall. Mm-hmm. Big and, and yellow. fluffy and yellow. What do you call him, Fluffy? He's just... Furry. Feathery. Furry. 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 He's a furry. <laughs> Confirm. Are animals furries? Mm-hmm. Is it... 
Mm-hmm. Is there a word for animals that are attracted to people? Humanoids. I don't fleshy. Fle- ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Fleshy. Fleshy. That sounds like a fetish. Sorry, if I am given enough time. Ooh, wait. Oh. If I'm given enough time on a microphone, I will. <laughs> I will talk about fetishes. It's a given. That's okay. You know, it's weird. I re- I discovered on Wednesday as well um, that I know someone that makes fursuits. Really? I was, like, genuinely shocked. I'm like, wow, what? Is it Shauna? <laughs> it wouldn't be surprising, would it? It really wouldn't, but no. Z- Sorry, Shauna. <laughs> we love you, but you do some weird shit. I genuinely thought she was a furry for a while. I feel like... She is a little bit. Uh huh. Just a little bit. I, I mean, no, I can't say that because it's not true. And then people are gonna accuse me of being a furry, which I am not. I don't even understand furries. What is, like, are th- they? They're they're the ones that are in the the first. Yeah. The, the first two things. It's it's either that they want to be an animal or they are attracted to animals. Isn't that bestiality? Yeah, I don't. I th- okay, I think bestiality is being sexually attracted to animals, and that being a furry is just wanting to be an animal. Yeah, and then making it pinky. I want to be a dolphin. Aww. So that I can live in the ocean and be smart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be carefree as a dolphin, but uh, still retain some intelligence. Yes. There you go. I, I, I want to, I don't know what I want to Maybe a bird. You know, birds seem like birds they're are cool. having a good time. Probably a crow, because they're actually mm. pretty intelligent. But they're also kind of like, ah! And then you can legally participate in a murder. Yeah. <laughs> Anim- <laughs> animals don't have laws. No. Except for Zootopia. Yeah, you right. That whole movie is about animals having laws. Yeah. You're right. Zootopia is a good movie. I thought so. I mean, I was like pleasantly surprised when I finally saw it. When it was on Netflix. I didn't yeah, see it until yeah, it was on Netflix, but I was actually pleasantly surprised. It was it was not bad. What's your favorite movie, Courtney? Oh, you know that's a hard one. But one of my I can tell you one of my favorites. Okay. Is uh Howl's movie Castle. That's a Ghibli, Ghibli one, right? Yes. Yeah. I love that movie. Ghibli I think Ghibli. I think it's a Studio adorable. Ghibli. Studio Ghibli. Gib- Ghibli. <laughs> Ghibli. Studio Giblets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what about you, Louie? What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Moonrise Kingdom, and I have a copy of it right over there. Actually, all my favorite movies are... How would you feel if there. I told you I've never seen that? It's okay. Like, nobody has seen it. It's, it's, a, it's a Wes Anderson movie about these... To like twelve year olds who, uh, the boy is the boy is an orphan, and, um, and like a boy scout, and the girl is, um, both of her parents are lawyers, and she lives like a really nice life, but she also has like depression. I guess it would be she's she's a troubled child, mm. and so they, I don't know why I did air quotes. Nobody, I did air quotes there. But, uh, uh, but they, they fall in love and they run off together. Ooh. It's really cool. Huh. I love that movie. And then I also love, I also love Rocky Horror because, yes. I've always wanted to see that. Oh, it's so good. I've always wanted to see it, but I have not. Well, I have a copy of it, so if you want to watch it. Please. Let's do it. Let's watch it. It'll be... Hella fun. It'll be hella, a hella good time. And then I also loved La La Land. Oh, I haven't seen that, but I've listened to the entire soundtrack. <laughs> the score is so good. I love it. I I really <clears throat> also... Have you seen Moana? Yes. I really enjoyed that. Moana was incredible. I've listened to the soundtrack so many times now. <laughs> I saw it once. I've seen it once, but I'm like, oh, this is... This is a good. I really, I really enjoy this. This is a good time. The oh gosh, the one and you know, 
the fact that Lynn manuel Miranda helped yes. write some of the songs probably really helped. Um, mm-hmm. But the one where they're like, it's the one where the ancestors are singing, and where she's like, found the place with all the boats and stuff. Yeah. That song is probably my favorite from the movie. I listened to that one on repeat there for a while. I'm like, oh, it's so good. <laughs> I have five, four, three, two, two one. one. Okay, we have five minutes left with our public. Oh no, we gotta make it interesting. Okay, how do we... If people got this far. (laughs) Congratulations for getting this far. We really appreciate it. Inaugural episode of whatever this... We're gonna figure it out. This is a test run. We're gonna figure it out. There might even be, like, I don't know, a structure later or something. Who knows? (laughs) We might make this a thing. This is a test run. I just kind of... I this My process with this was I decided... I got a nice microphone. Let's do a podcast. I love podcasts. I've only so. ever listened to one podcast. Is it the Game Rooms one? Uh, oh, I guess I did listen to that one, but uh, I listened to My Brother, My Brother, and Me. Oh, yeah. I love. I listened to The Adventure Zone. Mmm. That's the, is that the, uh, that's the DND D&D one? Yes. Um, I listened to that one, uh, Super Best Friend cast, uh... This history one, I've only listened to a few episodes of that. The Game Rooms one, uh, this one Urban Legend one, I only listened to a couple episodes of because I actually got kind of scared. Um, <laughs> I'm a wuss. Let it be said, I'm kind of a wuss. Set the record show. <laughs> um, and then, I don't know, and then Shane's podcast back in middle school. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't listened to that one in years though, so. But yeah, I, I love podcasts. I think they're a jolly good time. I just recently got into the idea of a podcast. I guess I listen to Serial. That's a podcast. Oh, yeah? Um, For this seminar, summer homework. But I love not having to look at anything. Yeah, you just get to listen and chill. It's nice. Yeah, I agree. I've done that exact thing before, but whatever. I only know so many chord progressions, so <laughs> this <laughs> that is a okay. I, I snuck one in there. That's the um, it's the Steven Universe theme. Yeah. This is where I would talk about our sponsors if we had any. Um, you but. know, if we ever establish this and make this legit, then we might have some someday. That would be incredible. We should, you know, maybe that's a goal. Secure, uh, this, this episode, <laughs> this episode of whatever this podcast is going to be called is sponsored by Livy Film. Livy Film, the, uh, you need your wedding filmed, you don't have a lot of money, let us know. It'll be, it'll be good. You, you like to make, you, <laughs> you enjoy hiring people with crocky knees? <laughs> Love your film. This podcast is also brought to you by, uh, Mediocre Drawings. If you want to, to commission a, a jolly good little drawing, hit, hit me up. <laughs> Here, let's, let's make it, let's make it, they do this on my brother and my brother and me, let's make a little jangle. Okay. Okay. Stand, standard chord progression. Because that's what I like to do. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Alright. Do it, that's the question. 
I'm going to do it. This has been the first episode of whatever of this is going to be. Whatever this is going to be called. Thank you, Courtney. Well, thank you, Livy. I've had a jolly good time. It's I, it's been lovely. It has been. I'd love to do this again. <laughs> Me as well. It's a good time. We it's, should end with Jeffrey. Yes, Jeffrey, play us off. Wait, Livy. Let's just. <laughs>